Hi folks, welcome to Queer Dance Project. Thank you for joining me. My name is Christina Michaels, and on this segment of Queer Dance Project, we're gonna talk about a preparation for a ballet combination. The amount of variations upon the theme of a preparation are vast. Techniques vary, Chiketti, R.A.D., Bogdanova, Russian, American Ballet Theater Technique, American Ballet Technique, Preparation is still a preparation. There's going to be four counts to prepare, and generally that eighth count, we're going to say we're going to count five, six, seven, eight, right? That eighth count is that holding preparation, that lifting and holding and getting ready for the start of a combination. So let's go over that. I'm going to show it at the bar, I'm going to show it at center, and then I'm also going to show you a preparation for Ronda John. So get yourself into a queer hemisphere, and let's go and do some ballet preparation arms, okay? So if I'm at bar, I'm gonna stand in first position. A very basic preparation would be five, six, seven, holding eight, okay? Now there can also be five, six, seven, but notice I'm here by eight. I don't wanna be moving on eight because that is not showing that we've actually focused our mind and focused the body into just a still place. Instead, it just means we've never really stopped. We're just moving and moving through stuff where, um, for instance, a preparation in Ron de Jean, five, six, you're holding seven, eight, or you might go five, six, seven, but we're here holding in a tall new second position with your arm in second position for eight. So let's take this to center. We're in center in our, in our queer hemisphere. Um, and we're in first position, or fifth on bar, let's just say, the fifth low, I prefer that. Now, across all of the different techniques, Vaganova, Chiketti, R.A.D., um, American Ballet Technique, the preparation might be a little bit more exaggerated, especially in America. I have found that the American Technique tends to really be quite exaggerated. And outside of this country, it's not as much, or it's got pockets of flourish. So I'm going to show you a, just kind of a, a basic flourish. This would be five, six, seven, eight, right? There is that preparation, that, that, that flourish opening, right? If we want to do it slightly different and a little bit more with less flourish, but a little bit more control and technique, five, six, seven, eight. We're still here by eight waiting to go, right? If we're going to do a Ronde Jean, same thing. We can start in fifth and we can go five, six, seven, and we're ready to go. Understand, we really want to be in the second position and tendu by eight. We don't want to be moving. This is really allowing the dancer, the student, and the mind and the body to kind of find its place right before it starts its movement. So there you have it. Preparation and ballet preparation. It always goes five, it always goes six, it always goes seven and eight, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And it'll vary. I've been in some companies where the, the company director wanted a big flourish. And then I've seen other companies and I've been in companies where the dancer, teacher, or the director didn't want any flourish. They just wanted a very basic preparation. Knowing that and what they want is important. Ask the teacher, do you want a big flourish? Don't you want a flourish? Why would you want the flourish, right? Um, it's, for me, a little too much. But um, it's often done in American Ballet Technique, this big, big flourish before we do the preparation arms, okay? <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Like, subscribe below. Check out my website. Go write me an email if you have any questions about some ballet technique or dance technique or styles. All right, thank you so much for joining me and have a queer, queer day.